Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the Successful Garden Design Show. In this episode we're going to look back over the last 13 years at some of our student gardens that they've achieved after doing our garden design courses because yes it's that time of year, it's our 13th anniversary. If you're frustrated your garden doesn't look as beautiful as it could, even though you've purchased lots of lovely plants, then help is at hand. Plants are not enough, you have to have a good design layout. And when you combine design with the beauty of plants, that's when the magic really happens. It's our mission here at Successful Garden Design to show you how to do it, and it's much easier than you may think. I'm Rachel Matthews and I've been a professional international garden designer for over 25 years, and I teach garden design online. So I'm not going to show you every single garden that's been sent to me over the last 13 years because that would take too long, but this is a selection of some of my favourites. Now this is a garden that lots of people love and it's from Ingrid in Ontario, Canada and she was one of the first garden design students to send me feedback. As you can see she's done a great little plan here and what's particularly impressive is that Ingrid was 68 when she did the course and she not only designed the garden herself but she did all the construction as well and we've kept in touch over the years and she's um, very kindly sent me photos as the gardens developed. Now we head off to Germany to see Silas's garden. Now at the moment it's just a computer model um, with probably the most realistic graphics I think I've ever seen. Now we don't actually teach how to do computer graphics, I teach the old-fashioned method of uh, pencil and paper because it's so much easier, there's a big learning curve when it comes to um, learning the software so we focus on the design principles but many of our students do actually have those skills and as you can see they produce really amazing results with them. Now if you'd like to know precisely what software packages that Silas has used to create this amazing design just head over to successfulgardendesign.com blog and there you will see an article that's got New England style house and garden and there at the end of it he lists exactly how he's done this but it really is the design principles that get the results, not the software packaging. So don't worry if this isn't something you feel you're able to do. Just a pencil and paper is more than enough to create an amazing design. From Germany, we now jet off to New South Wales in Australia. And yes, this is another larger garden. We'll get to some smaller gardens in a moment, but you can see the before was really quite dull and dreary. And then just doing a very simple design here has made the garden both beautiful and functional for the dogs to run around in and to relax and enjoy. And then Pamela has updated me a year later with some lovely photos, so it's great to see how the garden is progressing over time. Now we land in the UK in a tiny little beautiful courtyard garden designed by Deborah. Now this was actually a garden that she entered into a competition the RHS were holding to design an eco-friendly, sustainable garden for their flower show in Tatton Park. And she was one of the lucky winners and got her garden built. Here she is, enjoying the day at the lovely Tatton Park flower show. What a wonderful little garden she had built. And this one was a design plan that Gillian did uh, for a competition to win a place in a well-known garden design school, but uh, I don't think she needs it, judging by the look of that work, so very impressive. And still in the UK, this is Francis's garden, this is the before, and this is the after. Just a little bit of reshaping and putting some extra plants in, that's all it takes, but it's the shape that is so important, and that's what we teach in the Shape First system in all of our courses. And what a beautiful garden they've created. Another one in the UK, this is Ruth's garden. And actually Ruth was a, a car client of mine for many, many years ago. When she moved house, she got in touch to see whether I could design this garden for her, but sadly I was just only teaching at that point. So I suggested she tried one of the garden design courses and learn for herself, and she did. And look at the results, she's done a fantastic job and she's so pleased that now she has this skill to design her own garden. This is Sander's garden and Sander is in Holland and as you can see he had quite a boring blank canvas but he's created interest with the hard landscaping layout and the pool is a beautiful focal point. 
So I hope at some point Sander will send me some updated pictures. It'd be lovely to see how it looks now. But already in its first 18 months, uh, it's already really growing so, so well. Um, he's done a great job with the, the planting there. And another successful garden design student favourite, and that's Wolfgang from Germany. And I think he was one of our first students that uh, to put his design through CAD. But as you can see, he started out with this huge mound of soil, um, which would put most people off, but undeterred. Um, Wolfgang not only did the design of himself, but he also did the, all the work himself. And it took many, many weekends to transform this pile of soil into this beautiful contemporary garden and he's worked very hard over a long period of time um, to do this all himself so uh, he had no previous design experience whatsoever um, so he did the Great Garden Formula course and uh, same one Ingrid did and yeah he's uh, done a tremendous job um, I hope he's very proud of all he's achieved and it's great that he's kept in touch and sent me photos over the years so the garden's matured beautifully. Now we leave Germany and head off over to Australia for Anne's garden and they had a very boring front garden as you can see they've transformed it with a very beautiful and simple design that has just really brought a very dull space to life. Now this garden was sent to me recently, that's the before this is the after. Now this is Jill and Andrew's garden and they are in the UK. So this was year one and then very recently they have updated me with how it's looking a year later. And wow, what a difference. Everything's grown just wonderfully. I mean that lawn is looking incredible. So beautiful job that they've done with their garden. And now another really well-loved garden design student is Sam. And Sam's gone on after she completed the Great Garden Formula course. You can see her garden before and after, quite a transformation. She's gone on to do garden design professionally. So she's working for a very successful practice now and putting her talents to great use on a daily basis, which is lovely. We've had quite a lot of our students uh, go on to do design professionally. And she also did, as well as the Great Garden Formula course, which is our uh, main professional course. She also did the plant design formula and again she's come up with some lovely combinations. Um, really stunning so I'm very pleased that um, Sam's done so well um, and is now helping other people create equally beautiful gardens. So if you've ever dreamed of becoming a garden designer Sam is living proof that it's possible uh, to completely retrain and um, yeah, you can do this for a living as well. So I hope it's inspired you too. So Sam's in the UK and now we head over to Spain, to Anna's garden and quite a transformation. Um, again, a very small and awkward space, but she's really made the most of it with the landscaping layout. So here is the before and uh, this is what she's um, done with it. And now we leave Spain and head on over to South Africa for Zach's garden. Now Zach is a really passionate gardener and he tried on his own for seven years to do his garden and he struggled. And then he discovered the great garden formula and then he came up with this really beautiful design. And then he set about re-landscaping his garden for I think this is the fifth time he's redone it but he's keeping this one I'm pleased to say and yeah he's done a lovely mix with the sweeping curves and then the sort of the, the wildflower look and it's really really beautiful and uh, such a transformation from just the, the grass with a few plants dotted around to a very very inviting and usable space. And then from South Africa, we go to Costa Rica to visit Rebecca's garden. And she inherited, well, quite a monstrosity of a pool. And it would have been really expensive to dig it out and remove it all. So she decided she'd tackle it and uh, beautify it. So really awkward shaped garden. 
um, L-shaped and you can see this pool just dominates um, the space really badly and as you can see she's come up with a wonderful design that snakes around the garden and drawing the eye from side to side which is what helps make the space look bigger and although yeah that's an awkward shaped pond and you're never going to get rid of that aspect um, she has made so much more with the rest of the garden that it draws your eye past that awkward pool and um, created a really beautiful and tranquil space. And Rebecca is another one of our successful garden design students that has gone on to do this professionally and here's um, some other little projects that she has been involved in and yeah there, there wasn't garden design training in available in Costa Rica so it was great that she was able to hop online and do the Great Garden Formula course and uh, yeah she even in the tiniest spaces it shows you what design can do. So well done Rebecca and as you can see from the rest of her work that uh, you know she didn't miss out not being able to get to a traditional college. And now back to the UK for a keen amateur this is Barbara's garden and she's completely transformed it with some beautiful landscaping and they've got stunning views so the garden needed to make sure it made the most of the space and those views and definitely Barbara has achieved that and here it's on a year later so her garden is looking wonderful now. And we're on our last few gardens, this is Jude's garden and uh, she's done an amazing job with the transformation, sorry the picture's a bit blurry. Uh, and then on to Karen's garden and quite a long garden and they've really taken on board the design and really gone for the shapes and have made the most of their space so some quite awkward levels to tackle and uh, yeah, some really beautiful landscaping there. And for our final garden, this is Margaret and David's garden. You can see they started out with a, just a square of lawn and this is what David transformed it into. Now, we started out this video with Ingrid's garden and she was 68 and I'm afraid Ingrid, David has beaten you. He was 80 when he did this. So it just goes to show, age is no excuse not to do your garden. So I don't know about you, but I find all of the gardens that we featured today and all of the people that have just learned the principles and gone on and done it to be really, really inspiring. So I hope you've been inspired to have a go at designing your own garden after you've seen what can be achieved by complete amateurs with absolutely no design experience whatsoever once they've done one of our courses. Now to celebrate our 13th anniversary, we have a sale on until the end of the month. So do go head on over to successfulgardendesigner.com forward slash 13 and pick yourself up an absolute bargain. Now many of our design courses are going to go up in price in November, so this will be the absolute cheapest you'll be able to get them for. So until next time, take care. Bye bye.